nói với những cái những người bé này nó đứng trong cái lúc gần đấy hai đứa con mà nó ngủ và họ và nó ngủ damn good coffee but <clears throat> my family's about to wake up let's get some drawing done this is still just a rough draft i probably draw this thing like uh, probably another two three times most likely three times um so yeah i'm just trying to lay it on the line and um some things make sure things look right the angle stuff look right because like i said i'm no professional um oops let's see i'm by no means a, a professional artist i just draw for fun i just like to draw and i like transformer that's why rc is here Um, does she have a bracelet? I don't know why I drew this bracelet here. She doesn't really wear a bracelet. Maybe I just thought it would look nice on her to have some bracelet on her hand over here. Hang on. I don't know why I draw this bracelet here. I thought maybe it would look good with some bracelet, but she doesn't have any bracelet on the original in the, in the movie. Here's a movie right here, the generation, the first appearance of RC right here. Look who she is, man. Badass robot. <laughs> See that? Yeah, she doesn't have a bracelet, so I, I need to redraw that. I'm not going to do the bracelet. I don't even know why I did it. I thought it'd be cool, but... But no thanks. This is why digital is so much, for me, easier to work with. It's very forgiving. Um, you don't like the way something work looks just redraw it do and undo I don't think there's anything wrong with that I know there's traditional artists out there that don't like digital because you can undo I don't see anything wrong with it guys to be honest with you you screw up redo the damn thing just because it's easier to redo. I know artists, traditional artists, I know you guys screw up too and erase, uh, start over and all that, but it's a little harder for you guys to start over, but digital art makes it a lot easier. Just hit the undo button and try again. And I do respect traditional artists though. And I know their, their craft is a little bit more uh, difficult but what I would like to do is, forget that part, guys. But what I would like to do is um, print this out on a bristle board, ink it, and use my copic markers to color it. I, I think that's, that'll work too, right? And, uh, I'm trying to draw the gun here. Just a rough draft of the, uh, the fingers.
think that looks okay. No, too too big, too spread out. The fingers are too big. So try again. I mean, she's a lady, so her fingers should be a little smaller, right? Can't draw RC with big fingers. She should have some dainty hands. There you go. Maybe the maybe the handle shouldn't be too big, or too much bigger. But like I said, I'm gonna draw this thing like another three, two, three times. So I just wanna get the size right and uh, get that layout properly, and then. I don't even know what kind of gun she has over here. I guess I just draw something like that. <laughs> Alright. This is my son's favorite spot right here. Seafood! Right? No, that's sea creatures! Sea creatures? Yeah! Sea creatures! Look! Also sea creatures! Also sea creatures! Yeah! Wow! Lobster! Yeah! Lobster! Lobster! You said lobster, huh? Wow, shrimp! You got shrimp? Yeah! Oh, oh, shrimp. Shrimp. Yeah, let's go this side. Okay. Oh, Quack! Fish. Fish. Oh, no more. Look, oh, there's more fish. That's not fish. That's not fish. Yeah, it's fish. Oh, look, crawfish. Crawfish. Yeah, that's crawfish. Ooh, ooh, no, that's not crawfish. That's lobster. Yeah, that's lobster. This crawfish. This right here is crawfish. See crawfish bag? Yeah. See the picture? Yeah. See the picture. Get in there. Okay, let's go find mommy. I can watch. Well, look, look at this one. Monster truck. Why don't you get something like this? No. I don't want that one. What's that one? I don't know. You don't even know what it is. No? Shoot, I kind of like it. No. You don't like the Batman one? Look. Batmobile. That's the new one. Yeah. That's the motorcycle. Bat cycle. Yeah. You don't like it? Okay, go ahead. It's that one. You want that one? No. no. It's Mr. Potato Head. Look, it's a Mr. Potato Head. What is that? It's got the nose and it's got the mouth and it got a hat. That's kind of cool. Look! See? I don't want that one. Okay. Nope. Which one? Let me see it. Whack them up. Yeah, you keep. Are you at? No, that's it, Logan. I can find a toy.
We're home. This is how a three-year-old plays whack-a-mole. Okay, we just went to the uh, grocery store, played a little bit of whack-a-mole, and now we gotta drop my wife's car out at the dealership. And uh, my son is with me. So yeah, we play whack-a-mole, remember? Oh. Yeah, so but now we're gonna pick up mommy at the dealership. So let's, let's head up to the dealership. I don't want a mole. All right, just made it to the dealership. Waiting for the wife to come out uh, from dropping off the car. Should be here shortly. Um, and then we're gonna go grab something to eat down in Katy, Asian Town. So, looking forward to that because I'm starving. Ready? She like that all the time? Hey, babe. Show Logan this. You can get it, though. Oh, look at that. Can I get it? No. Oh, look at that one. It won't put you guys in. Is that potato? Is that potato? <laughs> Ninja Turtles? You said there's a ghost there? No, that's the marshmallow man. I want the ghost Come on, get out of there. Can you see a ghost Yeah.
No, these, the mar these are actually the Are they? Yes. Yeah, the new to a booster. I think that one changed to a booster, huh? Huh? Doesn't that one change to a booster? No. Oh. No, I daddy. Got these two <laughs> items from Bedrock Comics. And now I'm talking about the um, atomic monkey. Come in. Dr. Strange. Huh? Dr. Strange is big. Dr. Drake? Right here. Dr. Strange. Is that Dr. Drake? Mm-hmm. What is that? It's Fluffy Puppy. Fluffy Puppy. As Thai gets older, these, these models are going to change from that point. <laughs> yep. Like Thai. This one is you want No, those are the uh, the picky ones. Yeah. Is you all these? I think you're the treasure. I think you're the the dinosaur one. Yeah, I think. Can I have it? I mean, what is it? I don't know, Godzilla. I know the Godzilla. <laughs> Can I have it? Like that guy in there. Man, those things are twenty six dollars on the.
Whew. It's cold this morning. It's about 34 degrees. But it's not windy at least. But it is about 6.45 in the morning. I'm going to head to the gym for a, little, for, for a little while, for maybe an hour or two. Hour or two. For an hour, hour and a half. And uh, get some running in and uh, lift up some weights. Take my shoes. Done with the workout. It is about it's eight o'clock. <clears throat> Worked out for about an hour, and uh, now I'm gonna go home and uh, get a bubble bars, man. Get some food in me. I'm hungry. But first, let me get some of this amino acids in me. Get home. It is a chilly 36 degree this morning. I just got back from the gym. The Houston Marathon is going on right now. Um, the Houston Marathon is going on right now. And I was going to run this year. But I decided not to. Uh, I don't think I can commit the time that it requires to uh, for the training. Maybe next year. Running 13 miles for me is not an easy task. Some people could just hop off a couch and run 13 miles. Not me. I need to train. <clears throat> I have been running though. Five, six, seven miles. Uh, four or five times a week. But that's not 13 miles. But maybe next year. We'll see. But I just went to the gym. I feel good. Now let's get some breakfast. Actually, just bobo bars. I like bobo bars in the morning. Alrighty. The toughest decision I make in the morning is which bobo bars do I want? Do I want the cinnamon raisin, chocolate chip, or the lemon poppy seed? Hmm. I'm going for the cinnamon raisin this morning. And for me, I like to toast my bobo bars. Uh, kind of make a little toasty, a little, it's a little easier to bite into, in my opinion. Here I got some of the pure ash butter. I'm gonna spread some of the butter all over my warm and toasty bobo bars here. Now let's get some coffee. I'm gonna drink uh, some iced coffee this morning. I got the coffee mate, and then I got the cold brew Starbucks. It's about 8.30 right now. My son is about to wake up. Oh, actually, I can hear him right now. <sighs> Once he's awake, I'm not gonna be able to do anything. So let me take a bite of this and let's go see what he wants. Hmm. Well, this has got my workout in. Let's go see what he wants. We are at La Sintera Shopping Center. 
out here in Katy, Texas. And we are going to a car show. You can hear that exhaust right there. I don't know what kind of car it was, but it sounds mean. But we'll get some coffee at Starbucks here, and then we are going to head towards the back where the car show is. The car show is put on by a group called Car Culture. You can look them up there on Instagram and I believe Facebook too. So it's called Culture here in Houston, uh, here in Katy, Texas today. But they have car shows around the city. So look them up there on Instagram and uh, Facebook. So if you guys in the area and you want to check it out, look them up. Uh, they put on a great show, a lot of great cars. So let me go get some coffee and we'll go to check out some cars. Oh no, I did. Touch, okay? Right here I had to kind of cut off the sound because they had music playing in the background and I didn't want to get a copyright strike on me. Um, just started this channel so I don't want to get in trouble right away. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, put some copyright free music on here and I hope you guys enjoy.
Logan? Oh, no. <laughs> Alright, heading up to the shop for a bit and uh, cover my shift and we have a shop at an antique mall. Uh, it's called Toy Atomico. We sell toys, some vintage, some modern. There's three of us that uh, that joined in and opened the shop. So we um, we each take turn covering the shop on the weekend. The antique mall is only open on the weekend, so it's only Friday, Saturday, and Sunday that they're open, which is good because we all have regular jobs. What I was saying was, uh, yeah, we all have regular jobs, so. We're going up here, open up a shop. The shop doesn't make that much money, to be honest with you. Um, some days we do well, some days we don't. Um, so we'll make a little bit of money. And But mainly we open a shop just to have a spot to hang out at. Um, yeah, we're grown men that play with toys. I know. <laughs> um, and read comics. I know. Um, so, this shop is m more of a place to hang out at. Um, as, like, right now, I'm going to meet up a, a buddy of mine who's um, heading up to the shop. And he's going to be at the shop with his little girl. He just comes up there, hang out for a little bit, um, uh, a couple hours, and then he head home. I mean, it's just a place to hang out, talk toys, uh, talk some comics, do nerdy shit. I don't know. But, uh, but yeah, should be good. Here at the Marketplace Antiques and Collectibles. It's located on 10910 South, I mean, Katy Freeway in Houston, Texas. Let me put this camera down before it runs. Two days later. Alright, Sunday night, about 8.45. Kevin put the little one to bed, take uh, take his uh, shower for him, and then uh, then watch a little iPad, settle down for the night, and get ready for bed. Weekend was good. Hopefully, this first weekend vlog goes well. I'm gonna I'm gonna start editing it, edit it, and uh, hopefully I can put something together that's decent. Uh, was at the toy shop to around 4:30. Didn't pick up anything for myself. Did a couple of sale, but I did buy this. Check it out. Big ass King Kong, yeah. I saw this at Walmart when it first came out. Just never pulled the trigger on it. This guy had it for a decent price, so decided to pick it up at the antique mall. I think it goes well with this guy here. I got the vintage Shogun Warrior. So I'm gonna have these two standing next to each other like that. About the same size. So I think that would look cool. But that's all for this weekend. Um, hopefully my vlogs get better. My weekend vlogs get better. As time goes on. Uh, but yeah. Hope you guys stick around. Remember to like this video. And hit the subscribe button. Alright guys. See you next weekend.